sensory extinction, which is putting a behavior that is automatically reinforced or behavior that has sensory input from the act of the behavior on extinction, meaning it's no longer going to get that reinforcer. Um, a great example of this would have to do something like eating boogers. So now I can no longer get to my boogers, and I can no longer get them to my mouth. So I can still play with my mouth, but that's not the reinforcer if you've done your FBA, your FBA correctly. It would be the actual act of putting the booger into my mouth, and I can no longer get up my nose, so I can no longer access reinforcers, which by definition means I am now on extinction. Cool, so an example would be really heavy scratching. And by heavy scratching, I mean like to the point of scabs and bleeding and removal of skin cells scratching. So putting the sensory input from said response of scratching on extinction would be removing the ability to no longer actually scratch. So you can't get the same sensation with this glove on versus with the nails. But you're not really response blocking. Yeah, right? not really so response blocking. Because you're allowing blocking. the response. Yeah, the response is still happening. It's not being denied. <laughs> <laughs> for, folks, for those of you that remember the old hamburger helper yeah. commercials, I just saw the poor thing die. <laughs> <laughs>